Okay. First of all, what is meant by exception handling? Hmm. Sorry? Unexpected errors. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. See. I'll show you. Now here. Which is the super class for all the classes in Java? Java dot? Lang dot? Lang is a package. System. Object. Object is the super class for all the classes in Java. I said right? Now. Object is a super class. From this class, we will be getting throwable. Okay? Throwable is the subclass of object. Under throwable, you will be having two different partitions. One is error, another one is exception. Okay? Clear? Now, what is error? What is exception? Hmm. What is error? What is meant by exception? Error is like? Hmm. Okay. Errors basically human mistakes. I can say. Okay. Human mistakes or anything uh, which human will not be providing the sufficient requirements to the program, then it will be considered as errors. Let's say now my particular program wants some 100 GB of space to run. I am not providing it. I forgot to provide. It raises an error. Okay? And my particular program wants net. I am not providing it. Got it right? How it will get executed? It is my error only. And if some software requirement, some jars are required, I am not providing it. Got it? where these all the things leads to errors okay some libraries whenever you are trying to execute some particular programs libraries might be missing some external uh, softwares and all where that particular external software if you are not providing then it leads to errors these particular errors are simple human mistakes okay that human mistakes you have to solve it manually is that clear? Any doubts? So, this portion we will not be discussing. Because one one scenario, one one uh, type of uh, solution you have to provide. Internet is not there in the sense what I can do. If SIM card is not there in the sense what I can do. Got it right? These are all the scenarios which you have to handle it. That's it. That is error. So, this portion is over. Now, under exception. Under exception, we have two types. One is compile time exception, another one is runtime exception. Compile time exception is also called as checked exception. Runtime exceptions is also called as unchecked exceptions. Clear? Make a note.
clear okay compile time exception i mean check the exception we will be checking the program but also we will do some mistakes these things comes under checked exceptions where these checked exceptions or compile time exceptions will not allow your program to compile only okay take an example i will use some variable but i will not declare okay i will use some variable in different format but the declaration will be in different format i might have declared it as private but i will be trying to use it some other place got it right next if a class will not be available but you are trying to inherit that method is not available but you are trying to call that this all the types of silly mistakes semicolon missing uh, whatever say brackets missing these all the errors which we will be doing got it right these are all human errors only so these things with your common sense you have to handle it clear that is not handled by program compile time exceptions are simple errors which will be done by the programmer when they are developing a program that's it clear example semicolon missing brackets missing class not found this kind of things checked exceptions are uh, the exceptions which occur during compile time of the program okay when it comes to run time exceptions these are the exceptions which occurs during run time of the program okay okay this kind of scenarios are exempted we have to handle it by making use of our exception handlers what kind of exceptions are those let's say i have designed one particular uh, what do you say uh, software calculator okay in that calculator whatever it is calculator in the sense i have uh, given a keyboard like this where user will have the freedom to enter any kind of values where sometimes if user enters some 10 plus 20 it should perform 30 it should give the output some idiotic people will be there where those, uh, those people they'll enter some characters some special characters will be there. they'll enter what what it will do it cannot perform any addition it cannot perform any subtraction so these are number format exceptions it is whatever i have entered those things i cannot convert into numbers and i cannot perform any arithmetic operation or any operations like that so these things i have to handle it whenever if you enter check whether it is not able to do the operation if it is not able to do the operation display a message sorry i cannot uh, perform the operation because of this reason it should not terminate your program got it right if you are not handling the exception it terminates your program for that sake we'll make use of exception handlers divided by zero best globally accepted example okay array index out of bounds exception i'm expecting only 10 values from the user he will enter some any 20 30 whatever the size he wants he will enter all these things leads to runtime exceptions is that clear these kind of exceptions we need to handle by making use of exception handlers how we will see now clear any doubts that's it